Hello, and welcome to ABB Robotics. My name is Justin Hickmont. I am a service support specialist within the customer service division located in Auburn Hills, Michigan. In today's episode, we will be discussing the run chain circuit or the safety circuit within the IRC5 controller. In that circuit, you have what's called auto stop, general stop, e-stop, and superior stop. The first dual channel safety circuit we will be discussing is auto stop. Auto stop is the only safety circuit not monitored in manual. This circuit is normally wired to your doors or your safety gates. Now we are going to display the auto stop and its functionality. As you can see currently, I am in a no fault state. When I open this door, the auto stop circuit should display a fault on the pendant. Auto stop open. Now we are going to show you the physical location within an IRC5 controller of the run chain jumpers. The factory run chain jumpers are located here. The auto stop signals are located on contact connector X5 on the panel board. This panel board currently has the factory jumpers installed. Now let's take a look at the electrical pins. Now that we are moving on to the circuit diagrams, you can take a detailed look into what position within the X5 connector are designated for each of the auto stop channels. The X5 connector in position 11 is the first positive chain for auto stop circuit named AS1 positive. As you can see there is a 24 volt supply coming out of the panel board on connector X5 position 12 which is being pushed through the factory jumper to position 11 and 10. Now that we know where AS1 positive gets its 24 volts from with the factory jumpers installed let's go ahead and take a closer look at AS1 negative or zero volt and where it's located on connector X5 position 9. As you can see in the circuit diagram, there is a very similar factory jumper in position 7, 8, and 9, which position 7 is the zero volt supply from the panel board. If we look at AS1 and AS2 channels, you will see a very similar circuit. On connector X5, position 5, you will see AS2 positive being supplied 24 volts from position 6 when the factory jumper is installed. AS2 negative is located on connector X5 position 3. With the factory jumper installed, AS2 negative will be getting its zero volt circuit from connector X5 position 1. Our auto stop safety chain is a dual channel chain which requires each channel to be broken at the exact same time. If AS1 channel is broken before AS2 channel, then the controller will provide a fault in reference to inconsistent timing of the signals. Now that we understand our dual channel safety chain for auto stop run chain, let's start to talk about some common wiring examples. The first step that needs to happen is for the electrician to understand what type of field device is being connected into the auto stop chain. Some devices may require seeing each channel's positive side and some devices may require a mixture of positive and negative. In the example I am showing, we are using both AS1 positive and AS2 positive to satisfy Jacob safety relay. Once all wiring has been set up and verified, then proper testing and verification of functionality will need to be performed and approved before the robot system is placed into production. Thanks for watching this video on the safety run chain inside an IRC5 controller.